Hello, Wiblings. It's Morgana. And guess what? I got another tag video to do. As you can hear by the rustling of paper because I wrote the questions down. So, um, got tagged to do the guilty, guilty Pleasures tag, which has been floating around the past week or so. And finally got around to doing it. So, we're going to do that. I will try to remember. Not going to promise. I will try to remember to write the questions down in the description box below if you want to do it because you're gonna because I'm tagging everybody. Yeah. Tagging everybody. So there you go. So. <clears throat> first one. This first one's going to kill me. I'm not going to lie. It's a TV show you love but you shouldn't confess. I'm about to put this out on the internet and I'm probably going to get a bunch of crap for it. But. A show that I love to watch and I shouldn't be watching it because I'm so not the target audience but I love it and I watch it with my children my little pony friendship is magic I'm sorry I love it I do it has all these little geeky references in it that just make my heart go squeal with joy it does and can we just say, they got the guy that did the voice for Q's with Next Generation to do the, to do Discord. Oh my god, love that. Love that. Absolutely love that, but it's a good show. It really is. It's got references, you know, for adults and, you know, things like that. And like I said, there's all these little geeky references that I love, but we're just gonna, I'm not defending it anymore. I'm moving on to the next question. Okay. Number two. A food that you like but you shouldn't. Okay. I had to ask my kids about this one. Because I wasn't sure. Because I kept thinking, one thing that kept popping in my mind, I'm going, maybe that's not that off the wall and I'm just, you know, overthinking it. And they're like, and I, I, I told them what I was thinking about and they're like, oh no, that's not, I said, well, you, you've grown up, you, you eat it too, so it doesn't, may not seem to you. So, I said, has a friend staying over and I asked him is this weird? And he goes, yeah, a little bit. So, it's beans on toast. That That's the weird thing. We lo love to eat it in this house. And I would kid you not, there's times where we have that for dinner. Just because we want to. Just because we can. We'll have beans on toast. My kids will ask to have that for dinner. And it's baked beans on toast. Just to clarify, it's baked beans on toast. Um, I grew up eating it. My kids are growing up eating it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly where the mix came in. I know my grandfather, my mom's father, loved it too. So it might be a Scottish thing. I don't know because my grandfather was from Scotland. So it, it could come from there. I don't know. All I know is I like it. And it's a little off the wall apparently. Okay. Music that you love that others can't stand. I will tell you music that I love that my kids cannot stand. And that's when I listen to Celtic music. They hate that. Oh, they hate it with passion. They, I get looks of what is this? Why are we having to listen to it? Kind of thing. Um, I do. I, I really enjoy it. Um, my guilty online habit. I don't have anything too off the wall. I don't think. Um, except Sims 3. That, if I start playing Sims 3, I can get sucked in all day long. I kid you not. I can get sucked in to playing Sims 3 all day long. I can, <laughs> this is, this is how bad it is. This is, this is why I don't play very often. I, I love to play it. There's a there's a point where you do the create a sim where you where you create a character. I can spend over an hour on that. An hour because I will tweet on girls on guys. I kind of speed through those and I don't spend very long on those because I don't really put a bunch of accessories and crap on guys. On the girls and plus I usually keep them with the same hairdo throughout throughout whatever. I really don't change But with the girls, oh my god, they'll have a different out they different hair for every outfit. They'll have different makeup for every outfit. They'll have different accessories for every outfit. 
except for one thing. I always give them one accessory, or try to, I always try to give them one accessory that carries throughout all the outfits, just for some sense of continuity. Um, yeah. And then, if I start building a house, <laughs> that, honestly, that is what takes up the majority of my playtime, is building houses. Or going to an existing house and tweaking it. I will do that too. I will jump from household to household to household, tweaking their houses. I will. I, t I freely admit it. I will totally go in and I will tweak the inside of their house. I will pimp their yard. And then I start doing that as a community buildings. I do. I, 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 it's that, this is why it's dangerous for me to play this game because I will get sucked in all day long. I see. I, I it has happened because before I, oh, I only do this a little bit and I'll get and then nope I get sucked it, it, it happened to me I stopped myself last night because I went in to check on something because I couldn't remember if I had done something this is the thing I see this, is, this sounds so bad okay when I'm driving around and I'll see a house I'll go oh god that would be so cool to build so then I'll sit there and I'll try to do the layout in my head of how I can make it work. I do that a lot. Especially when I see a Victorian house. I am I am so trying to get down a Victorian house to where it's just I I've even pulled down Victorian when you pulled old building plans offline online online okay you know what I mean. And I'll rebid the limits. I do that too. I actually did um, an apartment building the other day because Mental Floss um, had listed some old building plans from old New York City apartment buildings back from the turn of the 19th century, 18th, 19th, 20th century, early 1900s. Um, I so don't know how long that took me. It took me a long time just to get the first floor down. Um, yeah. I did that. I did. Um, so, next question. Things I, something I love to wear, but I shouldn't. Purely from a fashion standpoint, because otherwise I really don't give a rat's behind I wear what I'm comfortable in. Um, probably be capris. I'm short. I'm 5'4". I shouldn't wear capris. It, it made me look shorter, but you know what? I don't care. I'm comfortable in them. That's all there is to it. Um, a movie that I love but shouldn't so much. Okay. <laughs> and here's where you get a taste of how weird I am. As if you didn't already. The women. And I'm talking like the 19... Oh god, what is it? 1940 version? I'm thinking it might be earlier than that. The very... The, the black and white version. I love that movie. Not so much the remakes. I know there was one, they tried to do a remake in the 1950s, which I did not care for at all. I did not like that remake. And then the one that they did a couple years ago with Meg Ryan and Annette Benning and Jada Pinkett Smith and all them, I haven't finished it. Um, I haven't, I haven't finished that one yet. Um, I started to watch it and I had to stop because I'd go do some, I don't know. Um, but I love the black and white version. I don't know what it is about that movie. I just really, really enjoy that movie. Now, non-favorite, non-black and white movie that I can watch over ad nauseum, never get tired of, 16 Candles. I think that was my first John Hughes film. I love that movie love that movie. Okay, um, funny habit people comment on. I talk to myself. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit it. I talk to myself. I'm, you see me moving on because I fell asleep. <laughs> um, I do. I talk to myself. Here's the bad part. I've caught myself having conversations with myself. And I think that's why it's not so hard to do the YouTube do YouTube and make videos as I thought it would be is because it's kind of like me looking at the camera looking at myself so I'm kind of have a conversation with myself still and then of course you know 
Everybody knows about the rambling. I ramble. A lot. Um, okay, last question. Makeup look that you love but is wrong. I don't wear makeup very often. You guys have seen me enough to know that. Um, granted, the past couple of times you guys have seen me, I do, I have had some on. Um, but the vast majority of the time, every day, I usually just have face powder on. And not much else. Um, but if there's, like, something that I get wrong consistently when I do try, that would, it'd be when I try to do it. The, if I do like a really try to do like a really big wing or whatever it's called it doesn't look great so I usually refrain from that um, I don't get me wrong I try but I, I just I can't I can't I can't do it the wing never looks right to me so I usually end up going and taking it off and just going to with a line and be done with it and walk away um, that's what I think anyway um, Okay, so that's the last question. Um, I want you guys to remember, you're tagged. You're it. If you haven't already done it, you're, you're tagged to do it now. Um, yeah. So I will see you guys next time. Oh, I want to know what I'm going to tell you guys. Um, another thing is the Moon Magic video for June. I am working on it and hope to get that done this weekend. I started doing my note taking last night. I'm going to work on it some more today. I'm, my goal, the goal, is to have it recorded by tomorrow night. Um, so I can have that up Sunday night because, like I said last time, I kind of waited till like right before May last time. It didn't give anybody a hold. I think it was like a couple of days. So I wanted to give everybody a little more time this time and gonna play around with a couple things. It's not gonna be exactly the same because I'm not happy with the way the last one turned out, but that's it. So, okay. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.